Disclaimer. Efforts have been made to not to infringe with any copyright. If so, it may be brought to our notice for its acknowledgement in future editions. No part of this digital content be reproduced, stored or distributed in any or by any means either on paper or electronic media unless authorized. Digital content for candidates with speech and hearing disability. Sector apparel, made-ups and home furnishing. Subsector apparel, occupation embroidery, reference ID PWD AMH Q1001, version 1.0, NSQF level 4. Chapter 3, Embroidery Decorative Design Using a Combination of Stitches and Work Styles Unit 3.2, Use Different Types of Hand Embroidery Techniques Hello friends, welcome to an exciting session of Techniques of Hand Embroidery. Key Learning Outcome Use and combine different hand embroidery techniques to creative decorative designs such as Cross stitch, tapestry stitch, shadow work, mirror work, English hand embroiderer kink. Inspect embroidered products against specifications. Identify and understand common factors and problems affecting embroidery. Hand embroiderer uses different types of techniques to create decorative designs. Some of them are cross stitch, tapestry stitch, shadow work, mirror work, and English hand embroiderer king. So let's start with cross stitch technique. Cross stitch is one of the most basic embroidery methods that starts with an X-shaped stitch that is embroidered using floss on an even weave fabric. It is recurrent a number of times for creating a design and it uses six basic stitches to complete the embroidery work. Cross stitch It is an X-shaped embroidery stitch. Half stitch it is a slanting stitch covering one corner of the opposite corner. Quarter stitch It resembles a half stitch but is half its length and only extends into the center of the stitching square. Three quarter stitch it is used to generate curved design lines and add details to the otherwise blocky look of traditional cross stitch. Back stitch It is a straight stitch used for outlining or to add fine detail to your design. French knot. It is a popular embellished stitch that looks great clustered together to create texture or exclusively to serve as a center of a flower or eyes to an animal on the design. Tapestry stitch technique. This is also called canvas work 
and is used to produce items like wall hangings. Some commonly used stitches to perform tapestry techniques are Half cross stitch It is mainly used for pictures but can also be used for cushion designs. It is a tranquil to master and comprises of small compact stitches to cover the fabric or canvas. These stitches are diagonal on the front of the canvas and vertical on the back of the canvas. Tent stitch It is used when harder wearing formation is needed, such as chair seat covers and other furnishing items. It is similar to half cross stitch and looks identical on the front of the canvas showing small diagonal stitches. But the back of the canvas is much larger with longer diagonal stitches. Basket weave stitch It is also known as diagonal tent stitch and looks similar to half cross and tent stitch. It is used to fill larger areas, for example the background of a piece and it is not suitable for fine detail. Shadow work technique Shadow work is a type of embroidery worked on semi-sheer or sheer fabric. It is mostly backstitch but it is functioned between two lines. Sporadic back and forth between the two lines with each stitch. Shadow work is mostly done on linen fabrics. Mirror work technique This technique is also known as Shisha, Hindi for mirror or Abla embroidery. As the name suggests, it uses small mirrors to decorate the embroidery design. Steps involved in mirrored work techniques are Step 1 In this technique, the small mirror is placed on the fabric and is secured with a crossing of foundation stitches. Step 2 English Hand Embroidery King Technique 
It is a technique employed to fold fabric in such a way that it can stretch. It is used mainly as decorative purposes but can also be used in cuffs, bodics and necklines in garments where buttons are undesirable. It usually requires lightweight fabric like cotton or silk. Crevel embroidery needle is primarily used. Hand embroidery king commonly employs following stitches. Cable stitch A tight stitch of double rows that joins alternating columns. Stem stitch A tight stitch with least elasticity that joins two columns of gathers at a time in a single overlapping rows with a descending slope. Outline stitch Similar to the stem stitch but with an upward slope. Outline stitch Cable floweret A set of gathers worked in three rows of stitches across four columns of gathers. Often organized in diagonally arranged sets of flowerets for loose hand embroidery king. Wave stitch A medium density pattern that alternately employs tight horizontal stitches and loose diagonal stitches. Honeycomb stitch A medium density variant on the cable stitch that double stitches each set of gathers and provides more spacing between them. With an intervening diagonal stitch concealed on the reverse side of the fabric. Surface Honeycomb Stitch A tight variant on the honeycomb stitch and the wave stitch with the diagonal stitch visible but spanning only one gather instead of a gather and a space. Trellis stitch A medium density pattern that uses stem stitches and outline stitches to form diamond shaped patterns. Van Dyke stitch A tight variant on the surface honeycomb stitch that wraps diagonal stitches in the opposite direction. Bullion stitch a knotted stitch that joins various gathers in a single stitch.
inspecting product against specification. One of the most crucial role of a hand embroider is to inspect the product that has been embroidered against the design specification. The key benefits of inspecting a product are Strengthen and protect the brand image and reputation. Improve performance of suppliers and product quality to minimize product loss, rejects and charge backs and recalls. Drive continued improvement of quality systems and performance to benefit both the buyer and producer. The key points involved in inspecting embroidered product against the specification are Are the color used in embroidery fabrics according to the design sheet specification? Are the correct threads thread used for creating the embroidered product? Is the embroidery pattern aligned and positioned properly on the screen product? If embroidering names are the spellings correct according to the design specification? Common factors affecting embroidery. Number 1. Needle For the most accurate stitch placement, use the finest, sharpest embroidery needle that can carry the thread through the fabric without damage to either. Number 2. Thread Thread should be not selected randomly or without thought as the visual and touch appeal of the embroidery depends on the thread being used. Number 3. Fabric Selection The fabric chosen for the embroidery should be as specified in the design specifications. If there is no fabric specified, then the fabric should be chosen considering the type of output needed and the stitches that will be used. Number 4. Scaling Designs Whenever the embroiderer alters a design by seizing it up or down, squeeing it and even rotating it so that it sews on the bias. He or she has changed it from the way it was originally specified resulting in unsatisfactory output. This should be avoided and should be done only after the approval of supervisor. Thank you.